So let's flip the, the camera down and close your eyes for a second or look away. And we're gonna get the camera all set up here. And let's see if we can get this focused already. I'm gonna get this moved over just slightly. Oops, I bumped it, there we go. All righty. So we are going to be using two sets today. Um, this is the gift wrapped and the punch. I love this actually. I hope it carries over. I wish they would even carry it into the mini. We never know what's gonna carry over, but um, I do love this punch. This is the stamp. It's got a great wrap for you with tied with love, very Christmas, celebrate in style. Um, all those different bows and the big bows can be punched out. So um, I'm gonna take off my scarf because I am getting warm. So that's what we're going to use. Then we're gonna use my regular go-to. If you don't have this stamp, I would, it's not a very expensive one. I think it's a $19 one. Happiest of birthdays. I would get it today while it's on sale. Um, that would be my suggestion. Love that stamp. I go to it all the time. Um, okay. And let me show you what we're going to do with this modified. This is called a modified Z. So these are all plaids. I'm going to zoom in just a bit here. Let me see if I can bring this down. Okay, there we go. And I'm, I apologize if it is so dark because I have all the wind, window blinds closed because it's so sunny outside. Anyway, look at this. This is the bow that I punched. I stamped it, punched it. And then it opens up like this. Very simple. I can do these with my eyes closed. Um, here's another one. Love that big verse because it fills up. And here's another with the plaid with Misty and that. And this is uh, magenta or mag, ma mambo. And my grandson Jack made one of these and it was so simple too. Um, oh, this, I want to, I haven't done this one yet, but I want to do one with this crumb cake paper. I thought that was really cool. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do today is this one. So we're going to, uh, let me pull this out of here. And I love this red velvet. Um, this is, you can sort of see how soft it is and if you don't have this it's like paper um i mean you can tear it, it, it it's that nice and uh, it punches like this you just punch it and there we have a bow and then this little piece goes on top <laughs> except i can't pick it up my fingernails oh there it goes on top like that and this is a little extra tag that just gets uh, left over. And, but it's really, I love that velvet paper. I, it's in the, in the catalog, so uh, it's in the Christmas catalog. I love it. Here's another card I did with the same plaid. It's your day, enjoy it. And I used the tree from In the Pines and uh, like that. It's really, really simple. Alrighty, we're gonna make a card and uh, the first thing we'll do, so now get your phone ready if you want to take a screenshot. So um, I've got the measurements here for you. So this is what, what they are. This is our card base and it is five and a half by eight and a half. And I have already scored it right here, right down the middle like you always do, four and a quarter. And then two and one eighth is right there. And so it's going to look like this. So we're gonna fold it back so it's just a regular card. And then I'm gonna fold it back on itself. I am a big, I like to score things. I mean, I like things that are scored. I like the Christmas, Christmas. and that is the basis of our card. And now we're ready to put it together. So let's do some stamping first. Let's do our, let's do our inside piece. And uh, we'll just uh, stamp. I'm going to use, uh, 
a different verse this time. So we're going to use, uh, we used our black memento, and I just re-inked these up. I better get my little mat out because it's a photopolymer stamp, and anytime we stamp with photopolymer, we want to use our piercing mat. So, and this one's going to be uh, celebrate in style like that. Oh, isn't that a pretty uh, stamp? And then I think we'll put a red bow on the on the bottom. because we're gonna do the red velveteen bow. <gasps> Whoops, a daisy here. Okay, here's the little bow. This one does not punch out, but we'll just put it right down here in the corner. And, uh, oh, I think that would be a good, um, let me see if I can find an em envelope here. I have one, but I don't know where it is um, in my stash of things. Um, I have, well, I don't know. Here it is. Here they are. This would be a good one to do an uh, on our, a little bow on our. Let's do a bow right there. And uh, that's good. Set my ink over there. And now we will um, bring. So there's our card so far. And now we're going to bring in our piece that is going to go across the front. And that's this one. And we're going to stamp, it's your day. I like this. I like a stamp that goes across. Like on this one, it's happy little late birthday. And uh, I like that that look. That's just my opinion. So you can, you can do whatever you like. I'm going to ink up my stamp real well. And there we go. I love that. Um, I love that happy little bit late birthday too. That's a that's a really sweet stamp. Um, I don't know. I, it seems like my cards quite often are late, so either they're early or late. They're hardly ever on time. So I'm gonna clean my stamp real fast there. And uh, oh no, I've just gotten my fingers in the red ink. So there's the bow. I'll clean my fingers on the chamois because I forgot to get wet wipes out. They're behind my things. Um, got a lot of things set up here. And uh, these little plastic cases are gone too. They've been gone for more than a year, but because we don't, they don't, stamping up does not make wooden stamps anymore. Um, so this is what, this is what it looks like if you were stamping on the big bow. I'll just do that in a black one for now. Um, just to show you what it looks like. Like that. And it's so crisp and nice. And uh, then it's just easy to punch it out. Like this. You know, our stamping up punches are, you can lock them down like now it's locked. It won't slide when it goes halfway. And then you punch, and there you have it. And this one could be colored in with blends. That's why I did it in the black. So anyway, that's very, very fun, I think. So let's finish up our card. And uh, all righty, now we have, we're going to get our other pieces out to take pictures of the, the sizes if you want. So we're going to use another piece that's, well, I covered up that other one. Maybe I didn't. It's uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then our plaid piece is three and three fourths by five. And I'm going to put adhesive on that. Better sit down because that he adhesive does not work very well when I'm standing up and I'm I'm at the wrong angle. So now this is what um, this is my this is how I'm going to attach that. It's funny how it it's at, when I'm standing and doing the adhesive it just does not come out the right way for some reason. 
Okay, let me just get this on my grade paper. I like to always uh, line up. Do you see how I've lined it up right there? And uh, okay, now we're going to attach this and then it's just about done. Um, so I'm just gonna put adhesive on this side. Just not to the edges, turn it around. And now I wanna make sure that all my black edges are, are even like that. And there is our Z, how easy is that? If my grandson Jack can do this, then everyone can do this too. He's only 10 and he could figure it all out. And then we'll put a, a bow on. So um, I am going to uh, do this one with some Some dimensionals, these are my paper pumpkin dimensionals. They're, you know, they're sort of squishy. They're a little squishier, I really like them. They come in the paper pumpkin box. You know, they changed that about a year ago. And uh, they're very, they're very nice. I like them a lot. I just hadn't put, uh, so now I'm taking off the little backing, but they are very, very squishy. They're very nicely made. Um, so here we have our bow, and do you see how I popped up that little piece already for you? So you didn't have to watch me do that. And uh, so I'm going to close it up, and isn't that a fun card? I challenge you to try this. Oh my gosh, so neat. And then um, let's put some gems on. What do you think, red or gold? Which ones would you think would be good on there? So I, I, you're going to have to reply very quickly here. So uh, I don't know. Um, I think we'll, I have red ones on this one. So maybe uh, there's gold. And there's, there's red. Actually, I wish I don't have those near me, but I would think three would be better. But I think we'll, we'll stick to the red. And... Uh, I'm gonna put, I don't usually like to do even numbers like twos, but I don't have three handy, so we'll just do, but I think it looks good with two, because the saying is a little smaller than over here. Um, that's the reason I will just do that. I don't know what, so anyway, there we have our card, and how easy is that? It's your day, enjoy it, celebrate in style. Very easy card. And uh, has a matching envelope, so very 